Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Hive 2. This is video four, and today we're talking about the different synth engines here. So let's go to a new preset, and we have clean, normal, and dirty. So depending on which one we pick, it's going to change the sound pretty substantially. So let's make up a patch here. Let's go to maybe Unison 5, increase our detune. Get some cutoff down here, maybe some nice resonance. This is really going to showcase this right over here. And let's give us a mod envelope here. Okay, so we have something like that. So let's just kind of play some notes and kind of browse through these different engines here. And really notice the resonance as well. Okay, so for the manual definition for these different types of engines, if we're selected on the clean engine here, it is a wide oscillator detune, linear tack, exponential decay and release, perfectly linear, non-distorting state variable filter without oversampling, and filter modes comb, dissonant, and reverb, a dynamic limiter prevents buildup. And then moving on to the normal synth engine, the manual states, exponential oscillator detune, S-curve envelope attack, short punchy decays, oversampled self-oscillating filter with non-linear resonance, and filter modes comb, dissonant, and reverb, a dynamic limiter prevents buildup. Then we have the dirty, which is for the most part my favorite too, because you'll see why in just a second. The manual says evenly spaced oscillator detune, exponential envelopes, oversampled self-oscillating Steiner Parker diode ring filter, similar to the Korg MS-20, because I love the Korg MS-20, but unbuffered so that the current from the second pole leaks back into the first pole. Smooth when tamed and can get screamy and erratic, which is kind of special with this resonance here. That kind of sound right over there. Adds distortion to filter modes, comb, dissonant, reverb, and sideband. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing here. We basically have three different types of synthesizers, different kind of filter types, envelopes, which is really cool, and it really changes the oscillator detune, which is kind of interesting as well. So there's some interesting pictures in the manual as far as the envelope curves from the different synth engines from the different synth engines. So if that's something you're interested in, take a look at the user guide and take a look at the different synth engines here. So you can always click the Yuhi logo here and then go to the user guide and you can look at the nice pictures. It's always nice looking at books with pictures in them, right? Or is that just me? Anyway, I don't know. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. And experiment with these different synth engines because your patch could sound a little bit cooler. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video.